So what I believe layered defense is different types of layers, different approaches. So from our perspective, what we'll say is, look, detection and response is good. It's important. You want to know when something is going on, but you need to combine that with proactive you need to combine that with protection. You need to combine that with, like, again, from our perspective, it's default deny. So it's block everything from running that isn't explicitly allowed, including ransomware. But it also includes other things that can be misused. I mean, we haven't even spoken about the misuse of legitimate tools, and that's a huge problem. I and mean, we've seen putty being used for data exfiltration. I mean, PowerShell is, is used in a massive majority of, of um, ransomware attacks, whether it be running remote code or exfiltrating data or downloading payloads. Um, again, utilize living off the land is a huge problem as well. And it makes a huge amount of sense if you're an attacker because, you know, why run ransomware? Why would I take the risk of ransomware being detected and somebody being tipped off to the fact that I'm here? Why don't I just use PowerShell to exfiltrate your data quietly in the background, etc.? But yeah, as I, think I said, layer, layer defense means different types of layers. It means proactive and reactive, not just reactive and reactive and reactive and reactive, if that makes sense.